Hello Horde and welcome to Attack of the B Team with John. Today, uh, after two weeks of showing you how to make the minions and prepping you for this day, we're actually going to make the uh, um, creatures. Now this is the best part about the mod uh, and it is very straightforward. Basically, all you need is a Necronomicon. I think it's Nef Necronomicon. I'll show you how to make this. You, all you need, it's very easy to make as well. Uh, hopefully it's not night time. Uh, and it's not. Uh, so this week, I'm going to be showing you, carrying on with Necromancy. This is probably going to be the last week on it, probably. Unless I go crazy next week and make like loads of creatures. And have to show you about them all. Uh, but yeah, this week I'm going to be carrying on Necromancy. And I'm going to be finishing up with how actually to make the minions. So basically, in this recipe, you want leather in all the four corners. So top left, bottom left, bottom right, and top right, you want leather. In the center, you want a book. And then to the uh, left, you want... Into the left center, uh, you want an ink sack. To the right center, you want a feather. To the top, uh, I think it's... Yeah. The top uh, center, you want a jar of blood. And to the bottom center, you want never what makes your Necronomicon. So now we've created that, uh, we're going to go back into the cave. Now, the Necronomicon itself isn't actually a book. Uh, you right click it and all it does is bob uh, a bit and it doesn't literally do anything at all until you make it, you add it to a structure. So basically get an oak plank and two cobblestone. So it's very simple and make this structure. So an oak plank to cobblestone and then all you gotta do is uh, right click the necronomicon which you just created onto the um, altar and it uh, onto the uh, wooden plank and it creates a summoning altar now this is the best part about this mod uh, basically all you're gonna need then is blood and um, you need blood and souls so place your blood in this section Place your souls in there. So basically, you collect your blood, obviously, with your um, bone needles and your souls with your um, blood or bone scythe. And then you place the body parts. So this is where, obviously, the fun part comes in. If you can remember last time, I showed you the different combinations. So there are 15 different items you can use. Uh, so from, like, wool from sheep to create sheep parts. Um gunpowder from creepers and so on and so forth hopefully you saw the 15 different ones uh, basically uh, these are a few missing obviously the chicken which creates that the spider eye which creates spiders and um then obviously you're missing the rotten flesh and bones uh, that create so these are the 15 ones so uh they're them and they're the other two and then rotten flesh uh, bones and um a piece of chicken is missing, obviously from chicken one. So they're the ingredients, the 15 ingredients you can use to make different parts. And the different parts basically make different mobs. So whichever, depending on which um, part you use in the recipe, depends on which creature part you got. Obviously if you used wool in the head recipe with obviously the brain and skin um, and the eyes, you would get a sheep's head. And obviously if you did the rest, you'd get the body parts. Now I'm going to skip the building for two seconds because I'm going to make this. Now, the brain on a stick, basically, uh, is used to control mounts. You can actually make mounts in this. Uh, basically, if you use the spider torso, the actual proper spider torso, so if I show you how to make it, basically, you just need a fishing rod, which is... Oops, that way, weird. Uh, that's how you make a fishing rod. Three sticks and then two uh, pieces of string, just in case, because I always forget how to do a few vanilla recipes. Basically, a fishing rod and then a brain, which obviously you get a random drop from killing mobs, makes a brain on a stick. Now, this is used pretty much the same, it has the same principle and same use as, obviously, a carrot on a stick, which is used for pigs. Uh, basically, but this works for this, obviously, mod. Basically, as long as your um, creature has the spider torso, so... To make the spider torso, you need to use spider eyes in the torso recipe. Um, then it will allow you to mount the animal. So let's get a spider torso and I'll show you how to make a creature. So now, I've got all the pieces, bits and pieces in these chests of all the mob, uh, of all the creatures. 
So I've got like pig arm. So let's get some pig arms for this. Let's get one pig arm and then a chicken arm uh, and then an enderman's head. And then uh, what legs should we use? Should we get squid legs and see what happens? Uh, I'm curious about what's going to happen now. And basically, it will show you a preview of what you put in. So I'll put the squid legs in the top, uh, in the bottom section, obviously the legs, the enderman in the head section, the torso, obviously I'll put a spider's torso, a chicken arm, and then a pig, a pig arm. And it's made this abomination of a creature. And then, as long as you've got blood and souls in, all you have to do is press shift, right click, and it will create the creature. Oh my god, this is glitched like crazy, but it's still cool. And this is the creature. So, it creates the minion spawn saying, um, craft me via master or something like that, dark master. And basically, because he has a, a spider's torso, I can use a saddle, which obviously you just get from dungeon chest, and I can ride it. Using the, um, brain on stick, uh, hopefully it's following me. Oop, the minion is sitting, the minion's walking. The minion is sitting, the minion is walking. If I shift click it, it will allow you to mount it, but obviously it glitches a bit, so it won't actually allow you to mount some things. So some creatures won't work. Obviously, oop, I'm actually, I thought I was on then. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, obviously, because it's more, this uh, minion is like crazy glitched, uh, it doesn't work. But obviously for some it will. Let me just push this one to the side. Actually, let's put it out of misery because it's kind of in the way. Um, and it's really glitchy. Uh, so th this is amazing. This mod is actually amazing. So let me show you what happens. Obviously, this is a mount. So you could have used that creature as a mount. Uh, different. It will allow you to... It's some strange... Uh, for some strange reason, it doesn't actually seem to... Oh, it does. I thought it didn't use up a blood and a soul. So as long as you have one blood and one soul, you can pretty much keep making loads and loads and loads of minions. So let's make one with a chicken head. Uh, a witch's body. Uh, normal zombie legs and cow arms, two cow arms. And now this, the chicken's head, a zombie legs, witch's torso and two cow arms makes this amazing creature now. This looks cool. Basically, you have two types of creatures. You obviously have ones that mount and attack like that one, but obviously the glitch depends on if you use certain legs. So if I use probably majority of the spider, Torso, so if you use spider parts, like the spider torso, with little, as well as the spider legs, as well as probably, uh, it probably wouldn't have glitched as much. But obviously, because I've put arms and stuff on it, glitched quite badly. Um, I don't know if it, there is actually some that actually work better, uh, but it's still cool. Now watch this. So basically, I've got all the body parts in there. It shows you a little preview, and then when I shift click, this guy should create. Uh, so that, oops, I haven't shift clicking. Sorry. Ah, uh, oh, why is it not working? Uh, I've got other parts. I've got blood. I've got souls. I've got uh, are these cow arms, cow torso, chicken head, and it should it should work. Oh, that's sad. It doesn't seem to want to do this one. Let's change the arms to chicken arms then, just to make it well. Just let's give it villager arms, just to be a full villager, like a chicken villager. And shift click. So press shift and click. It doesn't want to work. Why does it not want to work? Uh, I'm not sure why this is happening. It should work. Unless I've run out of either one of these. I've got a few more souls in here. Uh, maybe it takes up quite a lot of souls or something. I'm not sure. And then shift click. No, it doesn't really want to work. So let's try breaking this. Let's take other parts out. It might have just glitched a bit. Uh, earlier when I tried this, it actually did work. And I made like a, a load of chicken, like a, pretty much a chicken army. So if I just knock this, let's just destroy this part here. There we go. Uh, hopefully the Necronomicon, yeah, the Necronomicon didn't get destroyed. Let's just reset this one, because it seems to have just glitched a bit. Uh, let's put the souls, the, the chicken, the zombie, witch's torso, and the villager's arms. And then let's just right, shift, right click, yeah. So sometimes you're obviously going to need to break the top, so just basically get a pickaxe or something and smash the top of the net, just smash this block here. Um, just smash this uh, stand here, and it'll break back to its normal parts. Um, now, this guy looks crazy. Uh, I love these. This is, like, amazing. Hopefully, I'm not going to die now. But as you can see, wow. Look, with the chicken's head, anything with the chicken's head is amazing. I mean, it's actually absolutely incredible. Um, let's see if it's actually just properly glitched. I mean, if I keep shift-clicking, will it allow me to keep creating loads of creatures? 
No, I think it's so you can't just keep spamming. So basically, just so you can't just spam loads of creatures, just keep breaking this. So keep attacking this block here. Uh, keep using your Necronomicon back on it just to reset it. I think I know why. It's because um, I'll show you what's just. I've, I've just realised what the glitch is. Um, let's get a cow's head and Endermas torso, a witch's body, and two mushroom. Parts. So watch, I, I just realised what the glitch is. I've just lost all my blood. Oh crap. So, oh sad. Never mind. Uh, have I not got one more soul in one of these chests somewhere? No. Sad. Oh, never mind. So I can't make like a mi loads of minions, but you understand what... I just realised what the glitch is. So basically, if you smash this, you actually lose the bits inside, which I didn't realise. So that's something you need to remember. So basically, I n I've worked out what the glitch is. Uh, as you can see, oh my god, this actually creature looks crazy. It looks like a minotaur or something. Like a minotaur or something. Wow, a pig, like a cow's head really does go well on a, like a, a creature's body. Um, so yeah, uh, like I was saying, what happened was obviously I created the creature with a soul and blood. Uh, ooh, I actually do have some things. So if I just find, if there's if a mob outside, I will, I'll be able to explain this a lot better, actually. Let's get the bone scythe and just... Quickly grab us a soul, and I can explain what's just happened. So, as you saw, it, you can only use it once. This saw it breaks. This is because it seems to retain the previous creature. And obviously, you haven't got them parts, so you can't make it again. Uh, let's quickly kill one of these. Oh my god, there's like a billion. Oh crap, this was a bad idea. I'm gonna die. Okay, oh crap, and I died. Never mind. Let's quickly see if I can pick that up. I'm probably gonna die again. If so, we'll end the video there. Um, if so, I'd, let's see if I can just pick those parts up. Where did I just die? Oh, the creeper may have destroyed everything. Crap. Never mind. Is it honestly not anything there? Yeah, there isn't. Okay, crap. So, yeah, uh, what happened was, do you know, if you saw the altar, uh, it shows you a preview of the, cre the previous creature that he's created. And uh, what happens is when you create the creature, the body parts obviously are used up, but the preview of the creature, which is lying on the desk, is still there, so it glitches. So basically, every time you create a creature, you're going to need to break it. I don't know if you, if you use the same parts, it might not glitch. So if you use the exact same, like sheep, like a, a different parts, uh, you know, like a sheep head every time and a zombie head every time and a zombie arms, zombie legs every time... Um, if you use them every time, it wouldn't probably glitch. I don't know if that's a thing. But as you saw, when I use different recipes in one that we already used, you have to pretty much reset it. So all you have to do is, like I said, just uh, get a pickaxe and destroy the altar section. And it'll just break back into it three parts. And obviously, because the book isn't used up, it's just basically... Uh, the book isn't used up and has no durability. It doesn't actually affect it. It's just like a reset. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, this has been all for... This is all I'm probably going to do for um, the... Um, oh, God, I got an arrow straight through my head. That is well cool. Uh, this is going to be all for uh, the Necromancy mod. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed these three weeks of covering it every Wednesday. Um, I might next week make a load of people to show you, but I probably won't. Uh, I'll probably stick a few round... Just cause, just for laugh, because it's really funny. The chicken head goes amazing on anything, and the cow seems to look cool. It actually looks like a proper creature. So on a body, so the the human body go the human not the human the villager body and the witcher body goes quite well with the you know the hostile mobs heads. It actually makes them look like species. So that's quite cool. So I might create a few of them, put them around. But yeah, next episode, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna cover. I'm probably gonna cover different brews, um, Joe using the kettle. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to probably go into carry on with the witchery mod and go on to different brews. I might see if I can do a bit more with herbology. Is there something here? Um, so I might see if I can do a bit more with uh, herbology. Um, or I might just look at something completely different. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't prepped anything this time. I'm not really, I haven't really had a big look. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like your favorite if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and comment if you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, hopefully it could have gone a bit better, but obviously uh, the altar glitched a bit, and obviously you have to reset it. And obviously because I reset it whilst all my components were in, I couldn't make as many mobs as I'd like to. I'd like to mess around with a few, see if some did better jobs, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, something that I probably didn't mention is uh, different ones uh, have obviously different health. I had them in order in the chest, if you remember. 
Uh, so the, the lowest ones were to the left-hand side, the highest ones were to the right. So the Enderman parts are the best, just to uh, point that out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And comment if you want to see uh, like certain uh, mods being shown in this series. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to be doing Witchery uh, again next episode. Or maybe even Dino uh, Dinosaur Craft. Or is it Din Dino Craft? Basically dinosaurs. Uh, and ar uh, it's archaeology in it, um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Like a favorite, and subscribe, uh, hit, uh, and yeah. Uh, comment, please, because obviously I like to hear your feedback. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Wednesday for another episode of Attack of the B Team. But yeah, bye.